Hey, it's Paul Hill from ITFlee.com, and in this lesson, we're going to be creating a Windows 10 VM, and we'll be installing Windows 10. So the first thing we need to do is open VirtualBox. Then we need to click the New button up here in the top left-hand corner of the screen. Now, if it comes up in Guided Mode, then just click the Expert Mode button down here at the bottom, okay? Now we'll type in a name for the VM. You can name it anything you would like. I'm just going to call it Windows 10 VM. And we can see that the version has automatically been changed to Windows 10. And it has automatically calculated the minimum amount of RAM that you could use, which is 2 gigabyte. Now I'm going to leave this at Create a Virtual Hard Disk Now. And I'm going to select Create. And I'm just going to change this to 80 gigabytes. And I'm going to leave it as a VDI. And we're going to make sure that it's dynamically allocated. So now we'll click Create. And now the VM has been created, what we need to do now is put it on the same network as our domain controller. And we need to mount the Windows 10 ISO that we downloaded earlier. So I'm going to right click on the VM. And I'm going to choose Settings. I'm going to go down to Network. And I'm going to change this Attached To to NAT Network, since that's what my domain controller is using. If you're using a host only network, you would select that here, or internal network. I've configured my domain controller, and you probably have too, to use a NAT network. So we'll select that here. And under the name, you need to make sure that you have the correct NAT network selected. And then we need to go to storage and mount the ISO. So I'm going to select this disk icon here that says empty. And on the right hand side, there's another disk icon. And we'll select choose virtual optical disk file. Now here we can see the Windows 10 ISO. I'm going to select Open. And now I'm going to hit OK. So now we're ready to power on the VM and start with the installation. I'm going to click the Start button. And the VM will start to power on. Now since we haven't installed the VirtualBox Guest Edition tools, we're going to have to settle for scrolling up and down with this little slide wheel here. So the first thing we're going to need to do is make sure that these settings are right. That you have the right language, time and currency, and the keyboard input method. This is super important. If you get this wrong, it can cause issues where you'll press like the A key and it'll input an S or something silly like that. So make sure that you have the right keyboard input method selected. Nine times out of 10, it'll select the correct option by default, but just make sure that that looks right. So we'll click next. And now we're gonna choose install now. And now the setup is starting. Okay, so we're gonna choose, I do not have a product key here at the bottom. And we're going to choose Windows 10 Pro. If you choose Home or Education or sing Home Single Language, you're not going to be able to join it to a Windows 10 domain. So we want to choose Windows 10 Pro. Click Next. And we're going to choose I accept the license terms, and then we'll click Next again. Now, of course, we have to choose Custom because we're not upgrading an existing installation. So we'll choose Custom. We're going to choose Drive Zero. You can see that it's 80 gigabytes. We could create a partition. We could do you know, all this kind of stuff if we want. There's absolutely no reason to do that. So I'm just going to go with the default partition that was created for this hard drive, the single partition, which is drive zero. And I'm going to click Next. And now the installation will begin. Now there's going to be some waiting here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed up the video. I recommend that you pause the video and come back once the installation has finished. So right now Cortana's talking to me and I don't really want to hear it so I'm going to hit the mute button to mute the sound of her voice. And down here at the bottom I'm going to click disable voice control. Okay so now we're going to click yes United States is the correct region. Yes the US is the right keyboard layout. We're not going to add a second keyboard layout, so I'm just going to click Skip. We're going to choose Skip for now. My suspicion is that the DHCP server on our NAT network is assigning our VM a 10 IP address, but our domain controller is on the 192 network. So we're not going to be able to communicate with the domain controller until we get on the same network as a domain controller, which would be an IP address starting with 192. So what I'm going to do now is just type in my name, Paul Hill, and I'm going to type in a password. And now I'll confirm that password. And we'll create a password hint. 
I'm just going to type in hint because I won't have issues remembering this password. I use it for everything on my test labs. If you're using a new password, then I really recommend that you make a hint that's more useful than what I just put in. I'm not going to make Cortana my personal assistant because it slows down the computer and I'm not planning on using this VM for anything other than tests and lab purposes. So I'm just going to select no. We're going to turn off speech recognition, tailored experiences, location, diagnostics, and relevant ads. Then we'll click accept. And the reason why we're turning all that off is just to use less resources on our VM and hopefully make it run a little bit faster. Okay, so now we're brought to the desktop. So what I'm gonna do is select devices and insert guest additions CD image. So we will see a pop-up that says select to choose what happens with this disk. Click on that pop-up. And then at the top, select run VBox Windows Editions.exe. Now we're gonna select yes. So we're gonna proceed on with the installation and just click next to the prompts. All the default options are gonna work just fine. Make sure that the always trust software from Oracle Corporation is checked and then select install. And now we just need to click finish. So now the VM will restart and things like dynamic resolutions, copying and pasting between the VM and the host is all gonna work. So that is how you install Windows 10. I hope you enjoyed this lecture and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.